guys so I want to show you guys what I was able to haul in for force Friday 2 so let's get a look at what we have here today I was able to go out and pick up some stuff for force Friday 2 and uh, we're gonna get a look at everything real quickly here today I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible but as you can see we have a lot of stuff uh, to get through so uh, we, we will uh, get to it in just a moment uh, but just to tell you a little bit about my uh, experience, um, I did not go out uh, at midnight last night. Um, I decided to wait uh, till the morning um, and it might have cost me uh, perhaps a uh, exclusive from um, Toys R Us, uh, possibly the, uh, the uh, General Gree, uh, I believe, figure. Uh, I've been trying to get my hands on that as well and, and uh, did not, uh, was not able to pick that up. Uh, I also did not get the uh, Patriot Guard, uh, the six inch Patriot Guard. That's one that's uh, missing uh, from my collection. Um, and uh, I'm gonna apologize to uh, you guys. I thought that the uh, GameStop exclusive for Snoke, the six inch, uh, was gonna be available uh, uh, for day one uh, on Force Friday. Uh, it's actually a pre-order. So if you're looking for that figure, you wanna go over to the GameStop website and uh, pre-order that figure. I believe it's going for $39.99. Uh, so uh, you want to go ahead and do that if that is a figure that you are looking for. Um, I also made stops at uh, Target, uh, to, uh, as I mentioned, Toys R Us. Um, but my uh, the, the bulk of my haul, actually everything came from Walmart. Uh, and I, my, the first Walmart I went to uh, was completely empty. They didn't have anything except for the Kylo Ren Force Link uh, combination. Uh, kit, same stuff they had out since Monday. Uh, I went over to uh, the Walmart that's like right down the street, not too far, and they had just about everything as you guys can see. So we are going to go over all of this stuff right now. So um, let's start with the... So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the five POAs, knock those out of the box real quick. Um, so uh, we're gonna start with the uh, sets that we have here. So. Uh, and guys, I apologize for the glare. I will do my best to uh, eliminate that. Um, but there it is, guys. There is your Ray and your uh, Patreon card. Uh, I, I believe, and, and let me make sure, this is the Elite uh, Patreon card uh, here, the three uh, and a quarter inch Patreon card here. So uh, absolutely cool uh, with your Jedi training Ray. So, uh, and that is a two pack, uh, as you guys can see. And then next up is, this is the Han Solo Boba Fett pack. Uh, and it, uh, Boba Fett comes with the uh, little fire uh, blasters there, uh, as you can see. So that's really, really cool accessory that they've included in, in there for you. Uh, and you can also use them as the jets on the backpack. I don't know if you guys can see that, but in the back there, they have them uh, connected to the jet uh, there, the jet pack. Uh, so there are those two absolutely cool and awesome and then we're gonna go over here and this is our last the, the last Jedi Finn in his uh, sort of new outfit same jacket different type of shirt uh, I believe funny that he has the same jacket because that jacket should be split in uh, through uh, down the back um, so maybe it's got a sewn up job in the back, I don't know. But there he is, and it looks like he's got a new weapon there as well. Uh, so that's your Finn three and a quarter right there. And then you have your Hux three and a quarter, comes with the mouse droid, very cool, awesome. And guys, like I said, I'm gonna keep trying to move this right along, keep this going. So right here, and I, this is my first time actually seeing this particular character right here. And uh, this is going to be our, uh, this is Paige uh, right here. I have heard the name, 
uh, page, but I don't know too much uh, about this character, but very cool, very awesome uh, looking character, and I hope you guys can see her there. Again, forgive me for the glare, but there she is. Very awesome figure. And then we have our, let's go ahead and just knock, knock three and a quarter Luke out the way with his robe. Looking very awesome, very cool. So there's your three and a quarter Luke, the last Jedi. And then finally, uh, we have Rose here. Looking very cool, very awesome. Awesome weapon right there as well. So you know she's gonna be seeing some action. So very, very cool. All right, so we're gonna get a cool, uh, a look at uh, the box set, three and a quarter figures here. Uh, this is our Raptor and the uh, Baltic uh, set here. Uh, I know uh, I profiled this during our uh, news, uh, Star Wars toy news segment for San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, so we actually have this uh, in hand now. So very, very cool, very awesome two pack. And then I also picked up the Darth Vader and Probe Droid two pack. I, I don't have the Probe Droid in the three and a quarter size, so now I have it. Very awesome. And I have another three and a quarter Vader. Uh, I have like a bunch of these Vaders uh, in this size now, so it's uh, insane. So there are those two. And so now we are going to uh, get a look at our uh, vehicles. I think I'm gonna go ahead and attack our vehicles right here. So uh, I'm very big on, on vehicles and, and that's all thanks to uh, Red Leader One. Uh, so shout, shout out to Red Leader One because he showed me the importance of uh, collecting the vehicles as well. So now uh, I'm hooked on collecting these things. Thank you very much, my wallet. Thank you very much, Red Leader One. So, uh, going over uh, right here, the Resistance Ski Speeder uh, with your uh, Captain Poe Dameron figure. He comes with the headset, uh, weapon uh, that's there as well. Uh, so very cool, and then you get a look uh, at the, uh, the toy itself. Uh, it seems to be a very cool size. So uh, there will be a review uh, on this. Uh, coming shortly, uh, but probably not this weekend because I have uh, my brother's getting married this weekend So I probably will not be able to uh, have any reviews on any of this stuff until uh, sometime early next week guys But I promise I will get uh, reviews on all of this stuff There's the back of the box for the resistance ski speeder So you got your figure there and everything so there is a look at that guy so very awesome Awesome, awesome looking vehicle. So now we're going to uh, get a look at Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren! And here is Kylo Ren's TIE Silencer. A very awesome vehicle, three and a quarter size. You get your uh, Kylo Ren there, uh, three and a quarter. Uh, comes with his saber uh, as well. Uh, so we have him in hand with his ship, a uh, very awesome vehicle. So, and then uh, let me get, let you guys get a look at the back of the box as well. I haven't uh, been doing that as, uh, on this. So let me go ahead and get that uh, on there for you guys. So there it is, Kylo Ren in his TIE silencer. A uh, very, very awesome looking vehicle. Can't wait to crack the box on this. So there it is. Very cool. And then uh, now what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna have to bring these guys down. All right. So, uh, as profiled on our uh, Star Wars Toy News uh, San Diego Comic-Con segment, uh, we have our three and a quarter size Ray with her speeder. Uh, Jakku speeder, uh, very cool, awesome. Very glad to get this in this size. Uh, I uh, unfortunately had to pick up another Ray uh, with this uh, to go with this, but uh, I think it's really, really cool. And I'm not sure 
Um, I think this ray actually comes with a bit more accessories than uh, the original Black Series ray. I don't know, I have to check that. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't looked at uh, those figures in a while, but there it is right there, guys. Uh, your uh, uh, your uh, six inch uh, scale uh, of the uh, Ray Speeder uh, with six inch Ray. And then getting a look at the back, uh, comes with the stand obviously, uh, so it can sit upright. Uh, you got your little uh, net with the her uh, little scavenged uh, parts there. Uh, it even has an, a panel that opens, it looks like on, on one side. Uh, so you can have her doing her uh, mechanical work because we know uh, the girl is very mechanically inclined. Uh, so, uh, and this would be how she has so much experience uh, being so mechanically inclined. So uh, there it is right there, guys. Very awesome, very, very cool. And now we're gonna get a look at our last vehicle uh, pickup here. Let's get Kylo out of the way. Out of the way. And there it is. We have Luke and his speeder. Luke and his speeder. Very cool, very awesome. Very happy to get this six inch scale uh, Luke with the speeder. Um, he comes with all of his Tatooine uh, accessories, uh, so, which is absolutely awesome. Just like the 40th anniversary uh, version, so very cool. Uh, and then getting a look at the back, uh, you have uh, opening panels in the back uh, of the speeder. Uh, the hood opens up, uh, so you can have Luke, that's where Luke gets his uh, uh, mechanically inclined skills uh, as well, because he had a speeder to work on uh, back on Tatooine. So uh, that is a look at that right there, guys. And so now we are going for the heavy hitters. And so that means we're gonna look at our Black Series figures uh, that we were able to pick up. So let's get, uh, we're gonna start with Rey. And there she is. And this is Jedi Training Rey in her new outfit. Very happy to have this. Uh, I, I think I do like the head sculpt, very good. Uh, the, the eyes seem to be uh, correct. Um, you know, they're not uh, all, looking crazy uh, like in some of the uh, waves that we received uh, last year uh, at my Kane and Jairus, uh, the eyes look terrible on it. So uh, this is really cool to have her looking so well and so cool and I apologize for the glare guys. But there she is. All right, so um, let's also get a look at her master. And here we have Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master, looking grizzly and old, got his mechanical hand, so very, very cool guys, and I apologize, I'm trying to eliminate the glare as much as possible on it, but there it is guys, very happy to have him in hand, awesome, 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 awesome. And then if you guys were wondering, if you guys wanted to know what the number sequence was uh, for these figures. 44 is Rey, 46 is Luke Skywalker. So if you are trying to track these figures down, those are the numbers that you are looking for uh, in the Black Series for those two. And then next, and this I'm so excited, I almost passed up uh, on this figure by accident. I didn't know that she was sitting uh, in the back uh, hiding. Uh, but we have Hera Syndulla from Star Wars Rebel, looking absolutely awesome. Now, she looks awesome. Uh, and uh, what I like about uh, the, the look on her, and let me give you guys a real close-up look. Um, I want to eliminate the glare as much as possible, guys. But at, look at her face scope. Isn't that awesome? She looks real. Uh, I mean, not real, real, but she does, she's not animated looking. She looks like she could uh, walk right out of a live-action uh, universe for Star Wars. Uh, so, And we haven't seen her in live-action yet, so... Looking very cool right there, Hera Sendula. Awesome, awesome. Oh, and then uh, let me get, she is number 42 uh, in the series, so uh, that is the number that you wanna look for if you are trying to hunt down Hera Sendula. And then, who do we have here, guys? Who is this guy? 
this this legend from legends now he's canon yes that's right grand admiral thrawn looking good looking awesome guys again i apologize for the glare uh, but there it is a, a better look at him without the glare right there guys looking very cool uh, i love the head scope on him as well uh, I, I think, you know, he's as real as he could possibly be uh, with the blue skin uh, and everything. So I'm very happy uh, to have this figure. It looks a lot better than the three and a quarter uh, figure. Not that the three and a quarter looks bad uh, at all, but this is a better version, uh, I believe, of Grand Admiral Thrawn. So very happy uh, to have him now in the six inch series. And uh, I decided I, I actually was going to pass up uh, on on Kylo uh, here because I already have uh, the his, the version with his uh, mask on. I have the version with his mask off. I have the Mayfex version uh, of his mask off as well. However, uh, when I thought about it, I said, "Well, you know, they changed the scar uh, on this guy, so it, it, this, this is this really is an updated version of Kylo Ren." So I said, "Well, let me. I'll regret it if I don't get him." Uh, now, so I went ahead, went ahead and picked him up. Now, as you guys can see at first glance, you're like, well, where where's the scar? I don't see the scar at all. Well, let me get him a little closer and I'll do my best to, to get him in there without the uh, glare guys. But if you guys can see it, the scar is there, but it's very, 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 very light. Very, very, very light. Um, so and I'm gonna be uh, interested to see how he looks in the movie. I, I, I did hear that the scar uh, has been healed. Uh, and so it, I, I'm assuming in the, in the uh, movie, it is gonna have a very light appearance. It's not gonna be as uh, gnarly uh, as it was at the end of The Force Awakens. Uh, but um, yeah, the, the scar is there, guys. Uh, you just gotta get a real close up look uh, at the figure and you will see the very light scar uh, that now goes uh, over the eye and not across the bridge of the nose. So uh, those are our Black Series pick, uh, pickups. Um, I believe I'm missing the uh, Patriot Guard uh, 6 inch. Um, I, I, I forget what who, uh, who has that exclusive. I want to say Target, but I'm not sure. Uh, so I will still be trying to hunt that down uh, as well. Uh, so, uh, now we're going to get to our grand finale uh, here uh, for our haul for Force Friday. Um, and uh, I, I, I originally said that I was going to pass up uh, on this. And um, then when I uh, found out what was in it, I said, well, I may pick it up. Uh, and, uh, but I, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to pick it up today. Um, because it is so expensive, but um, I actually was able to get this uh, for uh, $173. I believe the, the MSRP was $199 uh, on this. So um, uh, again, I was able to get this, I, I guess, at a, a decent price, uh, considering that I, the, the MSRP on it was uh, $199. And I did see this uh, at the... Uh, I, I want to say Target, or no, I'm sorry, at Toys R Us, and they had it for uh, $199. Uh, again, I got this at Walmart for $173. Uh, so I got a bit of a discount on this if you want to look at it in those terms. Uh, but uh, this is obviously the BB-8 uh, playset that opens up into uh, Snoke's uh, fortress or uh, chambers there. And so there's a look at uh, BB-8 in the front and then the, how he opens up into the chamber uh, comes with your uh, uh, Supreme Leader Snoke uh, and the uh, guard and I believe this is a um, we, we saw the elite guard in the two pack with uh, I believe it's Ray um, so uh, this is going to be now this says elite patron guard as well but he has a different look uh, than the Elite Patriot Guard that's in uh, the Ray package. So uh, I wonder if there's a mix up uh, with the naming on those or, or maybe I'm uh, getting it wrong. I'm not sure, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, and I'll go ahead and make that correction in one of my videos. But uh, there is the uh, BB-8 
he, he comes like this and he actually makes sounds. Uh, he lights up and has sounds and, and, and whatnot, so that's very, very cool. Also comes with the Force Link uh, bracelet. So, um, that by virtue, I, I really was gonna bypass the, the bracelet. I'm not really into the, my figures talking like that. Um, but if, if I wanna have them talk, I can have them talk now. Um, uh, but it, it's a part of the set, so I'm glad to have it. And uh, now I don't have to worry about those three and a quarter sets that are trying to get you to buy the Force Link uh, with it. So, um, to get you guys a, a better look uh, at the inside and the set itself, there it is. And it looks like it comes with the uh, heavy gun there, which is cool. I wasn't sure if that was gonna be available. Uh, you have your uh, torture chamber chair uh, right there, which is awesome uh, and very cool. Uh, and then you have, uh, there's a cardboard uh, cutout of a couple of stormtroopers there at the bottom. Uh, so you can, uh, you got great background scenery, uh, and then you have Snoke and his guard upstairs in the chamber. Uh, so this is very, very awesome. Uh, and it also has, uh, looks like it has a hangar battle, uh, sound effects there. Um, and it also has blast off platform, uh, sound effects, uh, as well. So a very, very cool. Uh, set and we will be getting a look uh, at this set at some point uh, I will be opening this thing up and getting it reviewed uh, Sometime next week. So please do look out for that guys um, so uh, that is going to conclude our uh, Force Friday haul uh, now I may uh, post a, uh, another video or two uh, depending on if I'm uh, able to find any of the other uh, exclusives that I may have missed out on. Uh, I did also order, uh, I did pre-order uh, the uh, Snoke 6 inch uh, from GameStop. Uh, again, I apologize uh, in my uh, getting you ready video for Force Friday. Uh, I mistakenly mentioned it as an item that would be available uh, on Force Friday, which it is available, but it's available, available for pre-order online. Uh, you don't have to run to GameStop. Uh, to pick it up, but GameStop does will have some of the other items that have been uh, made available uh, for Force Friday. The GameStops that I went to had a couple of uh, items there as well. So, uh, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and may the Force be with you always.